Post harvest loss, losses are a big issue because in many countries uh, grains are lost at a significant amount. In some countries the losses could be as high as 50 percent. For example in China they talk about the losses uh, of the order of 10 to 13 percent. 10 to 13 percent when you convert that taking into consideration their total product, production is roughly equivalent to the total amount of grain produced by Canada. So the loss in China alone are equivalent to the total grain produced by Canada and Canada is a major exporting country. So that gives you an idea of the magnitude of the loss and that's just one country as an example. If we apply the existing knowledge we have and educate the farmers and the storage managers and have a good extension services throughout the world so that that information is transferred to the farmers, we can preserve a lot of this grain which is being wasted every year. Simple things like cleaning the storage infrastructure uh, where before putting the grains in, uh, making sure grain is reduced in moisture content or has been dried to a low moisture content, making sure that grain uh, is kept cool if the conditions of the region allow that. Certainly, I think the post-harvest losses have not given, gi has not been given the attention it should have been given. The preservation of the grains and the grains themselves should be seen as part of the national strategy of a country. The nation should see that as a national asset, not a farmer's uh, uh, grain. Currently, the feeling is that it belongs to the farmer, so the loss is borne by the farmer rather than nation seeing that as their loss. And at the same time, the nation has to go out and import the grain or bring the grain in to feed its population. And when we produce all this grain and we lose half of it or quarter of it, depending on the country, that is a significant loss to the society. So certainly by preserving that grain, we can make a lot more food available for feeding the population.